the circle x square plus y square minus 6x minus 10y plus k equal to 0. I'm going to write this as x square minus 6x plus 9, y square minus 10y plus 25 equals 9 plus 25 minus k. 9 and 25 we have added, 9 and 25 we are adding. Why are we writing like this? Because we are completing the square. We want to write this as x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 5 whole square is 34 minus k. The center of this circle is going to be 3 comma 5 and radius is going to be square root of 34 minus k. Brilliant. So let's locate this. 3 comma 5. The center of the circle. Fine. Now let's go to 1 comma 4. 1 comma 4 does not lie outside the circle. That is, it is either on the circle or inside the circle. Fine. Let's just find this distance first. 3 comma 5 to 1 comma 4. Just plugging in distance formula. Square root of 3 minus 1 the whole square, 2 square plus 1 square is root 5. The radius of this circle, therefore, is less than or equal to root 5. Sorry, the radius of this circle should be greater than or equal to root 5. Because 1 comma 4 is either inside the circle or on the circle. A radius is greater than or equal to root 5. Brilliant. Radius, we know, is root of 34 minus k. Root of 34 minus k is greater than or equal to root 5. Or 34 minus k greater than or equal to 5. 34 minus 5 greater than or equal to k. k less than or equal to 29. Largest value of k is 29. So we have found b. We still got to find a. Now this circle does not touch or intersect the coordinate axis. This is center. From here, this distance is 5. This distance is 3. The y-axis cannot even be a tangent or a radius is less than or equal to 3. It is less than 3. If it is equal to 3, then the y-axis would be a tangent. A radius is less than 3 or square root of 34 minus k is less than 3. 34 minus k is less than 9. K is greater than 34 minus 9. K is greater than 25. K in the range 25 to 29 could be cannot even be equal to 25 can be equal to 29. So this is A comma B. A is 25. B is 29. A plus B 25 plus 29 which is 44. Absolutely delightful question. So the kind of questions where if you draw the diagram, visualize it, see it, imagine it, it becomes much simpler rather than being overly particular about it and very algebraic about it. So use your wits with you, solve this, but don't, don't do it algebraically.